In Creo Parametrics, sometimes you will come across an old legacy model that doesn't have any default datum planes. Here I have an old speaker assembly. If you take a look at the model tree, the very first object in here is a part. There's no default coordinate system and no default datum planes. That's where the offset planes command comes in. If you go to the model tab and the datum overflow menu, here is the offset planes command. And this is an interesting command in the fact that it is not documented in the PTC help or the PTC knowledge base, but it works very straightforward. It inserts datum planes at an offset from the model origin. Before I click on the command though, I want you to take a look at the bottom of this model tree. The very last object right now is a part and it is hidden, but I'm going to click on the offset planes command. And the first thing that happens is it creates a coordinate system called default at the bottom of the tree. Now I'm being asked for offset values from that coordinate system in the X direction and the Y direction and the Z direction. You can enter an offset if you want to, but I'm just going to hit the enter key to take a value of zero for X, Y, and Z. And now the command has been created. There you can see that we have a default coordinate system and we have these planes ADTM three, four, and five. If you wanna see them, I can turn on the datum plane display. It displays all the other planes in there, but here we have those three different features. I will select them using the shift key. Let's get rid of that clutter. I'm going to turn my datum plane display back off again. And they are at the bottom of the tree. Let's say we want to get them at the top of the tree where our default datums should be. I will select them and then I will try to drag them. And as I'm dragging, it allows me to get almost to the top, but not all the way to the top. I can get them so that they are after the very first component. If you want them to be at the very top, like your different default datums, well, you can use the operations overflow menu and the reorder command. And now I'm being prompted to select the features to be reordered. I will select the coordinate system, then use the shift key to select the last plane. And for the new location, I want them to be before. And for the target feature, I will click in that collector and then pick that very first part and click the OK button. Now they're able to be at the very top. And just to finish this off, I can rename these. For example, maybe this one should be called top. And let's see, let's go to this one. And this one I'm going to call front. And this last one, well, let's call it right. So in that way, I've used the offset planes command in order to create my default datum planes in an old legacy assembly that didn't have them. The same thing works in old legacy part models. Way back in the late 1980s and 1990s, it was possible to create brand new parts where the first feature would be something called a first feature. We don't have the default coordinate system or the default datum planes. Once again, I can go to the datum overflow command and then choose offset planes. And once again, I will just hit the enter key three times and it creates that default coordinate system and the three different planes and to get them at the very top. Well, again, you can't drag and drop them all the way to the top. If I grab them and drag them, you'll notice again, we get that little red no sign we can't get them all the way to the top so let's use operations reorder and since they were selected they're already in here let's choose the new location to be before and for my target feature i will select the first feature id one and then click the ok button and now they are reordered and just like before i can rename them if i want them to hey let's take a look at them let me turn on my coordinate system and different planes. So again, that's how you can use the offset planes command in a part model.